Sink one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, didn't move on the one. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> that's all right. I can do it with the two, three. That, that'll do. Done. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you need to do camp again. Yeah, we're doing the camp again. The campaign. the campaign of Halo Wars. We are gonna do this. Yeah. Um, Thinking you're gonna need. Let's just do it on normal. I don't know. Yeah. Um, normal seems a good way to go. So let's just hit up a new campaign. So uh, yeah. So while I'm doing this, do you want to explain the uh, premise of why we're playing Halo Wars? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So um, you're going to learn the basics of playing Halo Wars. Um, while uh, while I explain exactly what we're doing here, so me and Chris before we started the channel kind of had the idea to play the entire series chronologically of Halo. Um, so we're starting with Halo Wars, obviously, because it happens before all the rest of them. Then we'll, then we'll do Halo Reach, Halo One, Halo Two, Halo ODST because they happen at the same time, Halo Three, and then Halo Four and Probably way before we get to the end of Halo 4, Halo 5 will be out, so we can then move on to playing that as well. Um, and expect other podcasts and uh, Let's Plays kind of uh, surrounding this whole idea as well. So, yeah, that's kind of what we're doing. Yeah, I... The entire Halo series, chronologically. Holy shit, by the way, that's going to take a while. It's going to take a long time. It's going to take a long, long time. It's going to be worth the selection. So this is the most boring part of the game. Yeah, well, to, to be fair, this might actually be a benefit to you because oh, yeah, I've not played this in a long time. Yeah, before. that's fair enough. I've, I think I've played it recently enough that I'll remember how, but I'm going to pay attention yeah. anyway. So, so here we go. Select things and it's just X to move. Pretty much. We follow the flares. Good. Just keep following the blue objective arrow. In the chipper thingy. In the chipper thingy. Shout out to Red versus Blue. Yeah. the whole reason I started playing Halo. Halo Wars is a game of yeah, yeah. Armies I said, well, I'd, I'd played it, I played Halo 2 a couple of times at one of my friends' houses, yeah. and then saw Red vs. Blue and thought, I've played that game. <laughs> I, I know how to play that game, I'm going to play it some more. Alright. Uh, and that's how my love of Halo came about, Red vs. Blue. Fair enough. I mean, I first started, well, I, had, I had Halo Combat Evolved for the PC. Of all things, PC. I did not have it on Xbox first. I was a PC gamer at the time, so I had it on PC, and at the time I was blown away by the AI and oh, yeah. the graphics like, in that game. At that point, that was cutting edge graphics. Oh, it really was. It seriously was. Now that you go back to it now, you go look at the polygons. Yeah, but I mean, they've been remastered, so we'll be probably playing the HD version. Master Collection! Yeah, we'll be doing that, so. Um, yeah. What's your thoughts on whose name we're burning into the screen here? Um, <laughs> should we just? I reckon what we should do is whoever's got the control will just burn it. All right, burn it in the screen. So fair enough. When you're playing, your name will be on it. When I'm playing, just so we it's different. Okay, fair enough. Yay! Take that turret. <laughs> Take that non-attacking enemy. Yay! Remember, however, well, I can safely say I don't think anybody else has ever done a let's play where they've played the tutorial first. I don't think so. No. <laughs> this, but this is a we're this, gonna be thorough with it. Yeah, we're gonna play the whole thing. Yeah, we really are. That elite is uh, sausage in you. Oh yeah, oh truly. <laughs> okay, out of nowhere. <laughs> Sweet combo. He's from Street Fighter. <laughs> what the elite? Yeah, <laughs> it's like a hidden character. That would be amazing though, if you could Street Fighter with Master Chief. Street Fighter with Master Chief. Yeah. Well, that'd be incredible. Like, I mean, if you're going for Halo Three kind of physics with it as well, because I mean, with Halo, yeah. with, with Halo Three, like one punch would like take the armor off the brute. Yeah, that would be. Cool. Could you could you imagine having that as a special power? 
That'd be amazing. Get into bed, honey. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> clothes off. <laughs> I punch people's clothes off. <laughs> Grenade! That's some powerful grenades. That is. They're, they're actually destroying the thing before they hit it. I think the yeah. tutorial's just trying to speed things up here. I think so, yeah. Alright, well. Because I play the advanced tutorial. No, thank you. Mission should go complete. Chris, I think you did well in that tutorial. I think I did quite well. Oh, yeah. I did everything I needed to do. Yeah, we did. Look at that. Continue. Right. So we're getting now we're into the first level, aren't we? Are we? I think so. I don't know. <laughs> I've, I've no idea. <laughs> you tell me. It's been. Uh, yeah, we are. It's been a lot of yeah. time since I've actually played this. So. I think so. Well, there's a cutscene, so. All right. Let's skip that. Okay, so we're gonna go for skip all cutscenes. Yeah. Okay. Well, we need to keep that consistent. Saves time. It does. Yeah, we're on Alpha Base, so it's mission one. It is. Check out that face cam. <laughs> that face. We need to turn that around, so oh, I remember this. Yeah. What's our status? I actually remember this quite well, looking at it. It still holds up quite well, the graphics as well. Yeah, it's not Just bad. That, yeah. It's not bad. Um, I have a feeling... Um, I mean, I don't know. Like, they're bringing out Halo ODST for the Master Chief Collection. They could be bringing it to. They could be bringing Halo Reach to the uh, the Master Chief Collection as well. That would be really good. So, depending on what happens, it might be that we're playing we're playing it on one or the other. Whichever one comes out. If, if yeah. It comes out at all. Yeah, if it comes out at all, we just need to wait and see what happens, I suppose. You missed. I don't. Know, he's just a shame. How could you miss? He's right there in front of you. Yay. Mulan reference. <laughs> Let's get down to business. <laughs> to defeat the brutes. The brutes. <laughs> oh no, it's a grunt. Ram him. Wow, <laughs> you went through both of them. Oh yeah. Optional, kill a hundred grunts. Well, there's three. Three down, nine seven to go. That's quick. Man. I'm sure there is there is like one way to do it. There is a specific way you have to do it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Fairly sure you actually have to wait for more grunts to spawn at I one think point. So, yeah, it's like right at the base at the top. Think to you could be all right. Stuff before you kill certain things. I mean, I'm gonna be okay with if we get the optional objectives or not. Really. I'm not gonna bother with the optionals if I don't have to. Yeah. Depending on how beneficial they are. Yeah. Pretty sure you can actually lose this level on Legendary. You can. It's quite easy to lose this level. <clears throat> In fact, yeah, it must be very easy to lose this level because you've really only got control of two Warthogs and one of them's half dead anyway. You have to... There's a lot of running back and forward and letting your health regen and things. And of course, because you can do the regen thing in this, can't you? Um, try, yeah, you can. Um, I think it depends on who you're controlling. I think he gets the... No, because they all get the regen. He... Forge gets carpet bomb and skirmish. Oh yeah, and then who's the who's the chick? Anders. Yeah, Professor she gets, Anders. She gets the freezy bomb thing, and the other one gets ODSTs. Yeah, Captain Mustache gets ODSTs and the Mac cannon. Oh yeah, yeah. What's his name? Cutter. Yeah, Cutter. Yeah. Man, that's test. That's testing test my memory. Yeah. <clears throat> Here's where it turns out we're going to be totally wrong. <clears throat> oh, probably. I'm missing one achievement in this game. One achievement. Uh, I'm missing one achievement. Well, maybe we can get you it. Well, I doubt it. Uh, is it online one? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No one plays <coughs> this game online anymore. No. I'd be interested to see what the numbers on that are actually now. Like, I remember when they were like in the thousands oh, when, it, yeah. when it came out, like in the tens of thousands as well. Ram it. Ram the turret. Yeah. Bold move. Oh. Well, it worked. <laughs> Jesus. It's a great move. Doesn't quite work in the the other Halo games though. We'll just through. Especially not if you're on Legendary. Yeah. On Doesn't work at all. I'm sure there's a skull on this level as well. You there is a skull on this level. You would have got, got them already. Uh, yeah, I already have them. Yeah. I don't know where they are. I can't remember. <laughs> per I, se. I've got them all as well. well oh, we absolutely have them. I just don't base. remember where they are. Can you get the grunt birthday 
Yes, I'll try that again. Gr birthday party. Yeah. Yeah, you can in this. You can in this, can't yeah. you? Yeah. It's not... It doesn't work the same way, It's though. not quite the same effect as in Halo, no. No. It's still quite impressive. Doesn't it just make the jetpacks fly off? I think so. Something. Yeah. Something like that. Oh, yeah. Check you the power you have source. to thingy the marines through first. Yeah, because the vehicles can't go through. There's jackals. Grenade! Well, that did not work. Yeah, because you've got to go round all of this and not kill that wraith. Yeah, you've got to leave the wraith to last. Or, well, you Just could kill one of them, as long as you don't kill both of them. Take out the armor. The rest is yours. He says as he's not bothered about the optional objectives. No. No, it's just for um, my memory, just remembering how you do it. Alright. Can't up. You got caught up in that. Doesn't seem to do anything though. No, I don't think it does it. Really. Friendly fire must yeah. be off in this battlefield. Can you imagine if that was actually a thing you could do as just turn off life? Turn off in real life. It's like, I could shoot you now because it's friendly fire. That'd be great in a pub brawl, eh? Yeah. Like, you just swing, but you go like through your mate and still knock out the guy that was giving you a hassle. <laughs> That would be fantastic. It's like auto aim as well. Would you play life with auto aim on? I don't think I would, no. No, I don't think so either. I think it would it take all the fun away from it. It's like in. Like I, I don't play Call of Duty with the, um, the magnetic lock thing on. Yeah, like the. You know, like, you know with the, when you quick tap the down the scope and it snaps onto an enemy. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't play it with that because I think it takes all the skill out of it. Alright. It's the same with um, the Halo games as well, you know, they've got slight magnetism on them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't play with that on that either. Yeah. I keep meaning to... I, I always had that turned off beforehand. I haven't turned it off in the Master Chief Collection yet. I don't know why. I'll get them. Well, I might get the optional Chief Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I think that achievement is basically just... Just finish the level. Pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, I remember how to get the skull in that level, actually. I'm fairly sure you just have to wait. You have to take out both the wraiths, is it? And then you wait until a certain time's gone past and then the skull just appears outside the base. Is it? I'm fairly certain it does. Might be, yeah. I see, it feels, that feels right to me. But, uh, oh hey, we got gold. Gold. Did we? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Yeah. I was about to say, that's, that screen's slightly confusing. <laughs> Alright. There we go. There you go. Alright, okay. Let's see if you can remember what to do now. Yeah. I remember to skip the cutscene. Yeah. That's what I. That's what I definitely remember. I remember this level. I no. I, rem I like this one. I remember the next one better. What was the next one? Next one's. Unless it's this one as well, so but isn't this one just now, when you're getting into the thing, and the next one is you actually going through it? Uh, the no, the next one is getting out. I think. Ah, yeah. Because I remember you get. Spartans dropped, I think. No, it's tanks you get dropped. Yeah, yeah, the Grizzlies or something, isn't yeah. it? Projection from new base location ready. Let's make a base. Pick them up. Pick them up. Ah, the days of skirmish when we're in for resources. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. All my friends used to get annoyed at me for doing that because I would run around and get all the resources before they did. I love doing that. <clears throat> Just annoyed you, or annoyed them? Like I, w I would. The first thing I would do, no matter who I was playing as, was I would make a barracks, mm -hmm. make like ten units, mm -hmm. and have them all go around and get the resources, get them deliberately killed, so I could get the units I wanted to get. And I'll go ahead and jump him out of the base so that I can pick up these resources up here. I thought that was a thing. The command center is online, but it can't house marines. We'll need a barracks to. It's just a beacon to tell you where to go. I don't think it's strictly meant to tell you where to go. It's, it's just they're, they're, they're just some extra resources. There. Yeah, there's extra some stuff. I tell you, move. We need to establish a larger military presence on the ground. He's a bit slow. I don't get. I can't do anything yet. He's blocking me from doing stuff. You need a generator. Four GPU and wait there. I've done it already. Stop telling me how to do it. I'm already way ahead of the game. I am. Okay, so apparently I do remember how to play this, by the way. I even remember all the base shortcuts and stuff. 
Oh, it's, the, it's like left and right to go between your bases, isn't it? Yeah, well, um, I'm pretty sure... What does right do? Like, it goes to like the front of your base. Left cycles the bases. Okay. Like, ups the... Down selects like your newest crate. It'll be the, it'll be the idle... Uh, the, the idle units. The the Maybe. Another supply pad, tech, and I'm going to wait and build a bit of thing. Oh, no, wait, I can just upgrade it. Structure. Another supply pad there. And then make two generators. I don't need two. Oh, I, just want, I suppose you can upgrade the other one. Yeah, because I, I don't think there, you get enough technology. In, uh, I don't think you get that way, I don't. Yeah, you, get, you don't get enough here to actually make it worthwhile, so. Wish. Can Forge die in this? Like. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you lose the mission if you lose him, but he's he's pretty tough. Yeah, because I'm sure it wasn't it like there's missions where they just get down and you go back and they, they revive. Oh yeah, that is a thing in this, isn't it? I think so. Keep an eye out for me, will you? I'm sure. I'm sure it's in the early campaign missions. They just. Well, I think that might be true for the entire campaign, actually. Now that you mention it. Yeah. Yeah, I think the, the the hero units as such just get down. They don't actually die. Fair, I'm fairly sure you can, as long as you get back to them on the map, you can revive them. Because, yeah, because yeah, Forge yeah, you're can right, lose his warthog here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and then you can just give him another warthog, can't you? Not sure about that, but he definitely just becomes a unit. I'm picking up lots of covenant chatter around your position. Looks like they are setting up defences. Yeah, we can heal now. We can heal now. Kind of waiting for resources at this point, really. I think the, the only thing that would have made this game even better is if they got the um, multiplayer commentator to do the... Um, Oh, well, I like to say overkill and stuff. Like yeah, if your units did it. No, but like, see, like when you make supply pads and things, and uh, when you upgrade. I, yeah, because he it tells you what it is. Yeah, he calls it out. Yeah, I think I think him calling it out would have made this game just a little bit better. It would have been the icing on the cake. Yeah. Where did these guys come from? <laughs> <laughs> Not a clue. I just went to select all units, and I suddenly had more than I oh. started with. Rolling. Enemy For some reason. RPG. Local yeah, I think, is it, you need two for the RPG ability? Yeah, two power. Yeah, two power. And then, is it, there's three for, is there one more they get, I think, is it, after RPG? Medic. Oh, yeah, you get the medic. Medic, which heals, like, it heals your units, but not enough to revive a downed unit. Does that make I sense? I think it's just... The squad that it's in gets the healing. Yeah, but it gets like a miniature healing ring, and then the squad doesn't uh, doesn't revive like down units because you know when you pop that healing ring. Yeah. That um, that brings you. Enemy engagement. That gives you your units back, doesn't it? Yeah, that gives you units back as well as um. Yeah, the health. As well as health and stuff. Yeah, I need that. That didn't even kill it. Oh. I used to just occupy all these turrets, if you could. Yeah, I mean, I'm, just because we're playing on normal, I mean, yeah, there's, there's not, there's not really it's anything. not overly tactical when you play it on normal, let's be honest. So, just get this tower out of the way. Woohoo! Look at that one go! <laughs> Whee! So one thing I loved about, um, Grand Birthday Party. All of them doing that. Yeah. <laughs> I think I always used to play the Grand Birthday Party on with every hero game I played. Oh yeah. Just because just it was fun. It's, uh, yeah, that is that is fun. Okay, so I could actually upgrade more power and stuff here if I wanted to, but I'm just going to go on ahead and do that and uh, Get the out. make a couple of scorpions. That, if I remember rightly, that should probably be enough for this this particular yeah. level. You just have to kill these bases. Primary mission here is to reach that structure. Yeah, I'm, I, I, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm not paying attention to what I was actually meant to be doing. I'm just going from memory what I'm doing here, really. It's usually just go from the bottom of the map to the top of the map. 
try not to die solid. Pretty much. More resources required. More resources required. Yeah. I feel it. I feel it. Probably. Oop. Local unit. Let's get it. Stop. What am I doing there? That's so <laughs> wrong. No idea what you're doing there. Right. Okay. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> I'm gonna let them heal while some of these scorpions build. I would, I would just send you a scorpion to him just now, because you've got two. Wait for resources, there we go. Local units. So you're two warthogs, you know, you're one warthog, I'll have a grenade. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure it has one anyway, so it's probably a waste, but... Uh, I'm pretty sure there's another base or something up here, right? Oh, does it not change the turret to... No, it just gives you a second passenger, doesn't it? Yeah, it just, no, yeah, because um, the first upgrade is to get the turret on it, like the chain gun. Yeah. And then the next one gives you the grenadier passenger, who shoots and throws grenades. And then you get... What's that highlighting up here? Is that just where I have That's to go? That's just where you have to go. Yeah, okay. So you told you bottom them up, top them up. Straight up. Straight up. Build an optional base. Is that an optional objective? I... I think they're destroying the... Yeah, I think it is. I'm not sure whether destroying the um, Covenant base was one of the optional objectives. Well, the Jackals is the optional, as far as I can see. I think there might be two options. You could be right. All I remember is that there's something I need to do over here, which is why I'm sending, which is why I'm splitting things up at the moment. The tanks are going that way, mm -hmm. and these guys are doing this, and boosting my resources so that I can do more stuff over here. Not that I can do a lot. Really but um, I'll keep resources aside for stuff, so maybe just pump pop out a couple more warthogs. Actually, I would have quite liked it if you could get um, campaigns for all three of the UNSC characters. That would have been cool. Like if you got a campaign for Anderson and Carr, yeah, it'd be cool. Because you kind of follow. Well, I mean, they're all involved, really. Yeah, you could just, just follow the Forge. Yeah, you could have just followed the one, not something like that over here. That's more good. Stuff. Shoot the oh, just fire rockets. Rockets. That's pretty good. We got a ghost. Ghost. Not even Halloween. What's that? What you blinking down here for? There's a skull. Oh, it's the skull. Oh yeah, the optional objective gives you the skull. Yeah. And then the skull just reveals itself on the map. There's no. So that's why you can't kill the um, the the wraith. Wraiths in the because, first, yeah, because you've got to do the yeah. grunts first. Ah, see, we can remember. So these you were things. learning things again. Again. <laughs> see, there's more than one optional. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure all this does is means that don't I get either bonus objectives? I or think you just get a bonus of resources. Yeah, it's like a bonus of resources, and then does it not also get rid of the shields, or is that something else that I have to do to get rid of the shields? I think it's something else. Yeah, you have to you have to destroy the generators for the shields. But the, the generators are near the shield. So you're either at either side of them. Yeah. Okay, guys. At least scorpions are like indestructible. Why are you shooting that? Shoot that. I'm pretty much destroy it for you. I don't think they can pick up resources though because no, they're vehicles. They're far too big for big that. Vehicles. Enemy engagement. Yeah, because you need to send the marines through. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the yeah, yeah the power source. Power source just through. behind it. What do I want to go through there for? Well, there's a black box. That was something. Yeah. That was like optional objectives and stuff. I'm not going to. I think that was just extra extra. Um, the backstory and stuff. Content and stuff for the archive. <clears throat> yeah, it was just backstory and stuff. I'm gonna send these guys through, and then they can just pop that. No, my units are together. I can just go for it. Yeah. I think there's a base down there as well. You can kind of get something. 
construct them and uh, roads. I'm not sure you're right about that. I'm going to go down and check it out anyway. <clears throat> Alright. There was units there was units coming from there anyway, so. Keep your one. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be much down there. I'm pretty sure that's where the skull is in the next bit. Maybe, yeah. Waiting for it coming out. Hmm. It's something like that. Basically all I want to do is just select go and then let them plow through all these guys because this will not be won't be, won't be an issue for them really. Covenant detonate those explosives. Destroy Our mission here detonator. is over. Get to the detonator. Get to the detonator. See, the first time I played this, I'm pretty sure, like, I, for whatever reason, understood that as if the Covenant detonate explosives, it's going to be bad, so destroy the explosives. Yeah. But that would surely detonate them. <laughs> I didn't realise this was a detonator. I don't know why. It says detonator right there. And this is another, once again, another game that I have not played for a very long time. Good work. So. Prepare for new orders. Okay. Alpha base, this is Bravo <clears throat> 29, heavy inbound. I've Lost me about four years ago, I started. Oh, easily, yeah. There you go, mission complete. Mission completed. Alright. Gold. Gold. Oh, it's blue. We don't seem to be struggling to get gold on this at all. No, it's because I just think it's on, because it's on normal. Well, yeah, that's probably right. Why did we... Oh, oh I must have I must oh, pressed B. Fine. We should continue from here. My bad. Alright, um... Skip. Yeah, right, okay. Well, we've, we've got... Well, let's do this next one mission. One because more that's, level. that's three levels out of this game done. I'm pretty sure this game is only like 15 levels long or something. I think so, yeah. It's not long. It's not too long a game. It's more, it's well, the, the first few missions are quite short anyway. It's more for the skirmishes and the line play when it came Yeah, that's true. We've got grizzlies. That's not quite so bad. It's way down this level then. I'm think I'm thinking here yeah, because we're we're coming up for half an hour on the timer. Yeah. We'll, we'll run run through this one quickly. It won't take long. Yeah, it's not too bad. We've got the grizzly tanks, so these will just rip the shit out of them. Pretty much. Apart from if that one wants to attack. I don't, think, I don't think you need to be quite as tactical as you're being with them guys. Yeah, you just roll them. Do they, these guys come with me? I don't think so. Some of them do. But I'm sure those guys don't for some reason. Alright, something happened, but there was a lot of explosions. I think there was explosives you can hit. To I don't think you intended to. I didn't intend to. Either. Press Y. Oof. Kind of missed. <laughs> oh, well. I said press Y there, so I pressed down that thing. One, one went right over their heads. You can just see the things there. Well, Killed 45 hunters. 45 hunters? Yeah. Well, can you imagine, like, because that's a lot of hunters. That is a lot of hunters. But, not for Halo Wars, it isn't. No. But, imagine if Master Chief had a level where there were 45 hunters. Pretty sure the most there is in any one level is, like, 8. Yeah. Well, if you, if you see the Halo movie, like the amount of trouble he has with one hunter. What is that? The forward, forward under dawn. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't watched that yet. I really should. It's it's actually. They've also got Nightfall, which is like a short kind of series as well. They're like forty minute episodes. I need to watch that as well. Yeah, the, you can uh, get access to it uh, to it through uh, Master Chief Collection. I was, I was reading out the box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's quite yeah, the f uh, forward under dawn. It's a, uh, but it's a, like a just a, like a extra content backstory thing. It's set between. Set between the like the end of Halo Three and the start of Halo Four. All right. And you know how like because um, Chiefy's Chiefy's in Cryo. Yeah. Uh, it's Chiefy's in Chief, the Chiefy <laughs> is in Cryo. Chiefy. Um, yeah, it's it's following the story of a guy. Um, uh, it's the captain of the Forward Unto Dawn, the ship. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, that's the that's the one that he uh, that that's, Chiefy that's goes away that, on. Isn't yeah, it? that's the one that comes and saves him on in Four. Yeah. No. Uh, is it not? No. Infinity is the one that it's saves Infinity. him in 4, but he's on the forward under Dawn at the end of Halo 3. That's what he gets away on. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure. It's one of the two. I, I, I can't remember the name of the ships, but yeah, it's following the, um, the backstory of... Uh, You're about to lose one of them. I know. Uh, how'd you think? I don't think you can in this level. Um, yeah, it's following the backstory of the I would just, captain uh, of the ship. I'll I would get just press Y. <laughs> Oosh. 
uh, yeah, the backstory of the captain of the ship, and uh, it's the story of him being a private in, the, in, an, in an academy. Oh yeah. And uh, it's it's so, so the backstory is set before um, before the events of Halo Three. Be, before the before the events of Halo Reach, because oh, the, Spart- wow, the Spartans are, are in it. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, and it's just basically describing how um, the, the Covenant come down to the, the planet to try and kill everyone. The Spartans come down. Uh, the recruits that you're following, the story of the only ones surviving, and it's them escaping from the the, uh, the planet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's how you repair. You can use Anders to repair those before you go if you want. Yeah. That's how you're repairing missions like this. Ah. Relearning. Yeah. Click her. Yeah, yeah, click her and then like repair. Why on it? Yeah. But it's it's a really good film. I'd recommend watching it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I will watch it, just when I have time. Yeah. I watched it on uh, Netflix. Yeah, well, I've got Netflix, so, so that's go. that's gonna be what I'm watching it on. It's probably the easiest I think thing to watch. The optional it on. the optional objective. You can just wait here, can't you? No, and it's like one of the others. other doors you can't come here. It's, it might be over here. Something um, it's it's like one of them. That. But the hunters come out of it eventually. Yeah, like they ju- you just have to wait. Yeah, it takes a ton of time. Yeah. yeah that those uh, those guys are getting stars. Just because they're stars, badass. Stars for days. Stars for days. Stars for days. Stars for days. <coughs> no, the tank's got a star. Yeah, both of them do. That one. Does that one? Yeah. Oh, so it does. Sweet. <laughs> You can do a lot of damage with star things. Yeah. Remember, for so long, like if you could get a scarab with loads of engineers on it, it was oh, basically invincible. Not anymore, though. No, no, it's been, it. yeah, it's been countered. Didn't take too long, actually. It took about what, three days, if that. So we got countered for it. it. Just used to be a race to who could get a scarab oh, the yeah. fastest, or whatever happened. That's why I used to do. I used to play scarab running. Um, it's good tactic for all time. Yeah. Oh yeah, that happens. You gotta go the other way now. Oh no, wait, wait, no. Do you? Or do you just have to repair it with Anders? I think you just got to repair it with Anders. Oh no, yeah, yeah I no, have you, to go. Yeah, you have to go around. Yeah, but it's control. This way. Let's go, guys. Never mind Let's the go. hunters. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. Oh. Let's go. go. Oh, they're so slow. They are. It's because the tanks are slow. I was going to suggest it was the marines that were slowing them down. No, nah, the marines are quite fast. It's, um, I think you only go as fast as the slowest. Yeah, but I'm sure the tanks were moving faster. Probably. Could be wrong. Could be, but I, I can't remember. A lot of things I'm probably wrong on, so... Let's just glaze over it for now. Yeah. They're just slow, it's fine. Everything's slow. Bridge controls. Everything's better with bacon, though. Everything's better with bacon. Even bacon's better with bacon. More bacon, you can't go wrong. Pretty sure you actually have to thingy Anders onto it. Like how you get Sergeant Ford, she's just Anders. Cover Anders as she hacks the bridge controls. Hacking? <sighs> so we've got to wait a minute. Watch those doors. A minute of this screen. Mm. Oh no, there's enemies, so it's fine. Just leave them here. Ooh. There's something to do. Oh, you could be right about that door, actually. Those hunters came out of there. Yeah, I think you, you do just wait around here and you just go back and forth between these two doors. Yeah. So, are these the first people to come across like Forerunner. I think so, yeah. I think this is the start of the Forerunner um, stuff. stuff coming out of it. Because... Because if this is set before Halo 1, then yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. What do you mean? Yeah, it it's be set it. before Halo Reach, it's set before everything. Yeah. It is the beginning. Not even sure if this is strictly a canon game either though. Because yeah. it was made by a different studio, but then so is Halo 4. Mm-hmm. And then so will be Halo 5, so... And the last achievement collection has been done... It wasn't done by Bungie. No, it was done by 343, but... 
I mean, they, they did a good job. Yeah, they did pretty well, I've got to say. I actually originally didn't really enjoy Halo 4, I don't know why. I just couldn't get into it. I See, going back now, though, love it. Yeah, it's pretty I, good. I played through it. It's pretty good. Um, you do not have Amber selected. No, you do. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Run! Run, Anders, run! Oh, the tank's going to Yeah. It's fine. Oh, um, I was about to say, how did they get a tank in there, but you've got tanks in there. Yeah. This reminds me of one of the rooms from Halo 1. Halo 1, I can't remember. Either. Like, it's, it's like a silent cartographer, assault on the control room. No, yeah, silent cartographer. The first one with the snow and the first one with the tank. Oh, you yeah. You get the tank into a room that's very similar to this. Yeah. I remember that one. Yeah. So, so grizzlies are in this. But yeah. they're not in any other Halo game. But then some of the Hawks are in this as well. They're not in any other they, Halo game. They aren't in any other Halo game. Hornets are. Yeah. But there's like... Pelicans are. It's like having um, the DMR in Reach and not having it in Halo 1. Yeah. But then Halo 4 had both. Yeah. And the battle rifle was in it, but it wasn't yeah. in Halo 1. Hey, they put the uh, the silenced SMG. Did they? In uh, Halo 2 Anniversary, yeah, you can you, okay. you can bust it out and forge. That's not as bad. Yeah, you can add it in. I'm pretty sure you can dual wield it as well, although I haven't actually tried that yet. Like, the SMG was like the loudest. Oh yeah, it was. The loudest. I remember a story. Um, it was a couple of people I used to know. They would play Halo together. Yeah. And one of the guys, um, he would turn his TV... Well, where's that tank going? Where's, where's <laughs> it going? It's like, it's like, fuck this, I'm out of here. <laughs> anyway, yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, he, he, would, he would turn his TV volume right up. Yeah. So you could, like, hear everything, uh, all parts of the map. Yeah, yeah. So what... Yeah, we have headphones for that these days. Yeah. But uh, what uh, my other friend decided to do was uh, he would crouch and walk really slowly so his footsteps didn't make a noise. Yeah. Dual wield the SMGs. And because they're the loudest weapon in the game, he would fire them both behind his back, and he literally shot himself. Amazing. Like, almost had a heart attack yeah. out of the fright. Yeah. That's pretty funny. You're probably going to get that option, actually. Get it, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get it. Yeah, you are. Yeah, oh, yeah, the skull's all the way back there. Skull's that. all the way over here. Yeah, if anyone so hasn't played it and they want to get the skull, there yeah, it is. There it is. That's how you get that skull. It's like Skull stay Guides stay Yeah, stay, tu stay tuned for uh, our next Skull Guide. <laughs> well, you've seen the Black Box and Skulls, and terrible, terrible play of these games. That you I mean, we're all doing it normal. Do we really have to be that good? Nah. Do you like some stuff? We're going, we're going through for entertainment. It's the comedy value you come for. <laughs> the audience wins. <laughs> That's who's really winning here. Yeah. Success, I think. Unless I have to go right back to the base. No, no, that's the top no you just have to wait here. Elsa Liz reached. reached. Liz, Lizzie reached. Where's Lizzie? I want to shake her hand. Confirmed, Liz is in this game. <laughs> Mission Liz, Liz confirmed for Halo 5. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, that's. Um, I think that marks the end of our first part of Halo Reach. It does, yeah. So, um, Halo stay... Reach, Halo Wars. Oh yeah, Halo Wars. Why did I say Halo Reach? You're not Reach? playing Reach yet. You're not playing Reach yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. So stay tuned forever while we play through the, uh, the chronological Halo series. Yeah, the entire Halo series. The entire Halo series. Oh, oh you only got, got silver. You only got silver. You suck. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Bye, guys. Let's stop. <laughs>